I'm here at Lee Turgeson Memorial High School, one of many local schools that has recently fallen victim to a new trend developing among young people. Not much is known about the elusive new trend, known to the students as teabagging, but some educators believe there may already be cause for concern. Well, um, as far as we can tell, these teabagging incidents are similar to stoning or eggings, except um, instead of using stones or eggs, the students are attacked with tea bags. We can't confirm these reports, it's just the best we could come up with at the faculty meetings. Uh, I hear them talking about it all the time, like uh, who wants to teabag who, or who's gonna teabag who, or uh, you know, things like that. I, oh, I even heard uh, one student had uh, teabagged 11 others in one day. That's, uh, that's one more than 10. Uh, frankly, what I want to know is, who's paying for all this tea? Yeah, you know, uh, the boys, they'll be boys, but uh, lately they've been getting the girls involved. Now, it wouldn't bother me none if uh, the boys and the girls were playing with balls together, but uh, just can't have them teabagging each other, you know? Teachers disrespect. So far in the investigation, students have been reluctant to divulge any information that might blow the lid off the teabagging mystery. School officials say that they will continue to question students until the last drops of information have been sucked dry. These trends, they, they come and they go, you know. Um, about two years ago, students were going around punching donkeys, of all things. About a year ago, it was uh, rainbow-themed parties, but those actually sounded quite lovely. Though many questions still remain, the hot brewing issue of teabagging will certainly be on the tip of everyone's tongue this weekend. At Lee Turgeson Memorial High School, I'm Amy Watsumutu, reporting for Channel 6 News.